Andrew Upperton make it three out of three. Oh, David Howe's the only one that can stay with him at the moment as they move around that first turn and come down past me. Well, certainly setting the cataman up for three, Mark Basie has got to the front early. Paul Cooper is in second. David Howe is back in third place at the moment. So I'm sure that the pit crew of Andrew Upperton will be watching this one because David Howe was the only one that could get on equal part to that run to make it out of three. He's got a lot of work to do this time and he's got more comfort in second. And Adam is in the corner for Mark Mason. Mark Mason's put it down on the far side. So after that terrific start, Mark Mason lays it down on the exit of that bend. The rest of the riders carry on though. The marshals and it's good to see the Mark straight up again. So Mark Mason's got the lead. But look how close David Howard's got to him now as he goes to that push end. For the last time, he's got one more stroke, and that's not going to do it. David Howe knows that he's going to try and equal Andrew Upperton. He closes right up on Paul Cooper coming out of that top bend. Can Paul Cooper hold on? David Howe goes for the inside, the second flag is going to be close. Well, I would have said they crossed the line together. I'll leave that to my line judge, but that was a very, very close finish. A great disappointment for Mark Baseby. And, and James Rogers made a cracking start at the inside. Looks like Harris is front with in front of his face, holding that second place position. All has gone through into that third place. That's the top three coming out of that top four. Where is Smith Norris? He's back in fourth place. A moment going up the back straight for the first time. Rogers stole in the march to front. It's Cooper doing the chase there. All looking in front of from that third and fourth. They're bungee up the third, fourth, and fifth place again. Harris Smith picks up another place to go through. He's just on the back. 
On the line and away with semi-final number one, James Jane. Hasn't made the best of choice ever. Kelly, who gets that corner first and he's on the bank of the first time. James Chain's away there in the third place. But Nelly goes through in the second place. He's chasing Kenny now as they come to the bank and on the pitch corner on the opening lap. Kenny leads it, but James holding that second place position. And Chain's got wanted to get the Kenny for that position. It's Richard Hall who's got the third. Hamden Appleton is in fourth place. Gareth Hickmott is in five. Fence within six. But it is Edward Kennedy who leads going to that back straight once again for James Shane's holding that second place pitch and Richard Hall definitely getting closer in third. These three pulling away for Appleton in fourth. That's Kenny leads in. But Shane's holding second, clean lap number two. Hall has got the third, Appleton in fourth. Now Shane's is getting close to Kenny going to that back straight once again. Is Shane going to go for the win? Will he settle for a safe second place? Turn the bank and they come for the third time. And is James Shane going to be beaten for the first time this afternoon? Kenny leads in. It's time for four. Shane's is closing up in all the race. Shane's winds it on, climb the bank and get that's inside Kenny, Kenny comes again back round the outside, Shane's gets back to the inside, Kenny again back round the outside, Shane's again cuts back to on the inside run, he's got the drop as Kenny cuts it back for the inside run coming out of that final corner, James Shane's gets all in right, second Edward Kenny, third is Richard Hall, fourth Andrew Appleton, to be tight for fifth and sixth, Hickmock five, Ben Smith in six, knew it in seventh place. Underway. Andrew Appleton's made a very good start on the inside of Joe Screen. He's got the edge as he goes into that first turn, but Screen comes back at him again as they go around that first bend. Vince Kinchin has gone on a wide trail around the outside, and Joe Screen has gone wide. So Andrew Appleton takes over the lead. Glenn Cunningham trying to get up there into that second place. Oh, now it's Joe Screen that's got to do the chasing. Andrew Appleton having a tremendous ride. Leads as he goes down the back straight. Screen attacks him again as he goes into this top turn though. He's gone very, very wide and Andrew Appleton keeps it on a march across the side of line. Glenn Cunningham has made it up as well. Glenn Cunningham looks to be nosing in the second place but Joe Screen responds again. He pulls away from that uh, third place position. But Andrew Appleton, while those two are battling behind him, consolidates, stays in the lead. Looks comfortable. Joe Screen with a much tighter line this time. Get some excellent drive coming off that top turn, and now he begins to attack. He wants to keep the maximum. Andrew Appleton responds though as they go down the back straight. It's going to be very, very tight on this top bend because Joe Screen is beginning to attack. Looking for a way through. He's gone through on the inside. Will it force him out? Andrew Appleton comes back underneath. Appleton gets it. So that's the two points off Joe Screen that the rest of the ride has needed. Excellent ride from youngster Andrew Appleton. Looks over his shoulder, knows he's got somebody there. 
Tim Nose is trying to close down on Darren Pugh as they go into this top turn. And Tim Nose is looking to go the long way round and he does it as he goes round that back straight. And along the back straight, Tim Nose goes in the second. Tim Nose still there in second place. Darren Pugh has got close to him again. Can he make a challenge once again? This is the part of the circuit where Tim Nose looks quickest. He goes along the back straight. He's closed right up on Mitch Gordon and makes a challenge. Into the pit turn he goes and Mitch Gordon has the gap on the inside. There was plenty big enough for Tim Nose to get through. Tim Nose takes it. Mitch Gordon in second. Darren Pugh in third and Dave Pears in fourth.
Tell him, did you? <laughs>